Hey YouTubers, this is just an alternate way to build you a three leg, three phase converter. Um, so I'm starting out with a 10 horsepower motor, 220 volts, and then I've got a control panel that I've built. It's a 12 by 12, four inches deep. Most of the components came from the internet, most of which Amazon. So I've got me a start stop switch here. It's got a light integrated into it. it comes on when the, when the uh, machine's turned on. Uh, here's the back side of it of the switch and I've got two two pole 110 volt coil uh, contacts I've got a uh, 110 volt 0 to 5 second time delay sequencer and I've got a three uh, three pole breaker for the three phase out and I've got my start capacitors here and then I've got my run capacitors here so I've got uh, for wiring I've got my L1 and L2 coming in from my breaker my main source and I'm coming through this uh, disconnect here, which is all powered by the start stop switch here. Um, and then I've got the L1 and L2 legs coming out and going over to the three phase breaker. So, um, and then for the, the motor where I'm picking up my third phase, I have to energize the third leg to be able to get that motor running uh, since I'm not using an idler motor. And to do that, I've got, uh, I've got uh, four of these, uh, start capacitors they're all the same and what I'm doing is is I'm using that time delay sequencer I've got set about a half a second and it's only uh, both these start at the same time but this one here drops out after about a half a second and what it does is, is I've got an L1 power picking up from the top of this one over to this leg and it basically is energizing these start capacitors one leg on one side and then the other side comes back up through it to the L3 which is the phantom leg which powers it up so um let's see here uh the run capacitors um they're all the same as well i've got five of them and these are used to balance out your electrical voltage and right now i'm pushing about there's about five volts difference between two of the legs which is not bad and then they also drop your uh your amps down so the good thing i like about <coughs> this design and, and i couldn't find on the i mean there's some people on the internet that's building them with the uh, coil disconnects. The good thing about those cool disconnects is is if you've got this thing running and uh, Let's see here. If I even have it powered up. I don't have it powered up. So I got the breaker on so if you power it up What happens is like right now it's running And I'm not using a, a starter motor. I'm using the those uh, Start capacitors. So what happens is the way I've got it built if I turn the power breaker off And I walk away from the machine. So basically we're simulating right here a power outage and if the power comes back on, my machine stays in the off position. I like that aspect of it. So, and additionally, I don't have all these different buttons and, and so forth that I'm having to push to get this thing up and operational. I just come over and I hit one button. So this is a phenolic block. It's uh, uh, three, 30, three sixteenths of an inch thick. And I've had to weld these little tabs in here basically as a block to keep my capacitors in place. So, um, but anyhow, allows the cabinet shut nice and clean. And rather than hit multiple switches, I come over and I hit one switch. Starts it right up. And in turn, allows me to run my machine. And I've already got it turned on. Noisy. I've got it set at 2,000 RPM. So, but anyhow, that is the joy. Uh, sorry, right there, making sure ensuring your equipment's running. So, good luck to you, YouTubers. Don't get shocked. Oh, uh, one last thing. Here's my schematic. Um, it shows majority of the detail. It doesn't have anything about the delay. Uh, sequencer and or how to hook in each and every uh, capacitor but there are good resources on the internet for that information so just do your research and uh, here's some of the voltage checks that I had initially and of course I've it's different from this I've I've changed a little bit but uh, you'll just have to play around with a little bit and see what you come up with good luck